Hello, everyone. My name is Kelly Law. In this episode of the AI series, let's discuss mind uploading. Let me ask you a question: If there is a way, do you want to live forever? Do you have your answer already? From ancient times to the present, immortality has always been an obsession of humanity. There was an idea called thinking cologne. Thinking cologne is based on the digital trace we call thinking files that everyone left on the computer and the internet, such as various chat records, blogs, photos, and videos, through the interaction with the human brain function. The replica thinking software produces the human consciousness as close as the human, which is called thinking cologne. So, what is mind uploading? Wikipedia describes it as the hypothetical futuristic process of scanning the mental state, including long-term memory and self, of a particular brain substrate and copying it to a computer. Do you know who is the first virtual person? Andrew Kaplan is an American author, best known for his spy thriller novels. On September second, two thousand and nineteen. Seventy-eight year old Andrew became the first virtual person. He volunteered to be a white mouse, uploading his mind to the cloud, so that he could live forever on the cloud and accompany his family. Part of us is made up of people we love and people who love us. The uploading of consciousness and the realization of eternal life might be a way to cross the boundary between life and death. And keep in touch with the living. Mind uploading needs to concern people's right to know and consent, benefits and risk analysis. At present, there's no suitable ethical code or law to regulate it. Do you support mind uploading? What are your concerns? Let us know. Thank you for watching.